center. Down he goes. The sack is made by Denikos Allen. In trouble. Down he goes. Denikos Allen came through with a man size hit. Gardner wants to throw. No time. Down he goes again. He is swarmed by the Spartans. Uh, just part of the reason why Danico Allen was named Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week after a fabulous performance, not just by him, but by his entire team against Michigan. As we welcome you back to BTN Live, Dave Revs and Chuck Long and Howard Griffith. And we are joined now from our studio in East Lansing by Danico Allen, Michigan State linebacker. And Danico, it's such a big game for Michigan State against Michigan. You guys make no bones about it. What was the discussion afterwards when you had held them to negative 48 rushing yards and completely shut them down? What were you guys talking about? Uh, We was just talking about, you know, how well we played as a team and, uh, you know, the things we did good. And, uh, you know, we were celebrating. You know, it was a great win, you know, a huge win. And uh, it was just a bunch of, it was chaos in the locker room afterwards. You know, we were all going crazy and just having a good time. It was neat to see that locker room scene afterwards, particularly with Coach D'Antonio there dancing in the middle. Tell me what you were thinking when you saw that. Oh, man, that was hilarious. You know, uh, you can just tell how big of a game that was, you know, just by seeing that. You know, you never see Coach D'Antonio dance around anywhere. And, you know, uh, just the the pure joy on his face and the excitement, you know, it meant a lot to us as a team. Speaking of fun, Danikos, how much fun is it to play in Coach Narduzzi's system? Oh, man, it's the best. You know, uh, just the whole scheme of our defense is, is, you know, it's simple, but it's fun. You know, we have fun, and uh, I think that's why we have have such a good defense, because we have fun doing what we do. And, uh, you know, with all the blitz and combinations and everything we have, it's it's just fun to execute them. How many different blitzes do you put in during a a, a week? Oh, man, uh, we have a lot of blitzes. You know, we this past week we put in I think like seven blitzes you know and uh, that wasn't even close to all of our blitzes so you know he, he's, a, he's a very you know creative guy you know and uh, he comes up with different combinations of blitzes and schemes that are that are, that are simple but effective and uh, you know we have fun with that. Let's take that a step further when you talk about blitzing when you know your number's been called and you have to go in go after the quarterback or the running back Take me through some of your keys and, and what it feels like when you make when you get that call. Well, uh, you know, when it's a blitz and I know I'm going, you know, my first thought is just get to the quarterback. If not get to him, then uh, make him feel my presence. And, um, you know, I really just, you know, spend a lot of time during the week watching, uh, you know, my opponents, you know, running backs, tackles, you know, uh, just just seeing their footworks and how, how, how well they change for uh, change direction and, uh, you know, some moves I can do well against them and, you know, just things like that. And, uh, you know, when it's time for me to go, I just go. You know, I blitz like it's my last blitz. Michigan State linebacker Danico Salen with us here on BTN Live. Dave Revson, Howard Griffith, and Chuck Long. Danico, so what's been your off-week emphasis? Uh, Just focus on Nebraska. You know, we, we got a whole week. You know, just to focus on Nebraska, you know, watch film and, and, you know, do the non-physical things to get better, you know, and that's what we've been doing. And, you know, next week we got practice and, you know, we're going to take the same, same mindset going into that week. When you talk about getting better, uh, obviously you're focusing on yourselves, but tell me about some of the things you do as far as self-scouting is concerned. What are some of the things that you think this defense needs to do better as you move forward? Uh, I think we need to you know, evaluate ourselves, actually, you know, evaluate what we've been doing good and try to get better at it and evaluate what we've been doing bad or poorly and uh, improve on that as well. And um, also, you know, as a team, you know, we can, you know, uh, just watch more film study, you know, have more film sessions, you know, because that that really plays a key role. You know, we do watch a lot of film, but uh, you can never watch too much film, you know. And coaches tell us all the time, if we're not doing anything, then watch film. And uh, if we do that, then I think we'll get better these, these next three games. Janine goes, as I'm sure you know, a Rose Bowl bid has been elusive for this program, haven't been since the late 80s. How much do you guys talk about ending that drought and getting to Pasadena? Oh, man, that's, that's been big talk since uh, summer, you know. That's been our goal since summer camp. And, uh, 
You know, I feel like every every player on this team, you know, really takes that to heart and and really believes we have believe we have the chance to actually go there this year. And uh, you know, I don't think anyone's gonna gonna stop at anything to to get there. The Michigan State linebacker Danico Salen, enjoy the bye week as much as you can this week, and we look forward to seeing you guys back on the field against the Huskers. Thanks for taking the time, Danico's. All right, thank you.